Welcome to Land the House. I'm Seth. This is an 8-pin rotary changeover switch. I want to use this to have two inputs and a single output. And so let me uh, show you how I'm going to wire this up and basically how it works. This one came from Amazon. It's a 660 volt, 20 amp, and uh, did not come with any instructions whatsoever. And so I just want to show you how you can figure out which pins go where. This is the stuff that came with this switch. So the box is pretty small. I'm going to step that up to a metal one. And then it's got uh, some other things here. Uh, there's a gasket you can keep bugs out and all that. Uh, so uh, to go ahead and take a look at the switch itself, it's got the numbers one, zero, and two. Zero is off. And then the positions one and two will uh, trigger different uh, states back here. So like I said before, it's got eight different pins. You'll notice they are numbered. So here's one, three, five, and seven. And then over here, you've got four, two, eight, and six. So uh, the two and the one work together, the three and the four. So basically one side is going to be input, one side is going to be output, and uh, crossways this way doesn't... Uh, you don't want to do that. So anyway, um, to find out how this thing is configured, you can take a multimeter and you can do uh, a resistance here. So I've got it set to ohms. And so if I go from, let's say the two position, which is here over to the one position, which is right here, you'll notice that it has infinite resistance at the moment. I can trigger this. So right there, it shows uh, 0.3 ohms, which means that this side right here is activated. So if I flip this to the other side and then test it once again, we should continue to see infinite. Yeah, so there you go. Um, so let me swap it back over and then measure again. There you go. So it's got uh, uh, one or 0.6. Anyway, just showing resistance there. So that's how you know that those two are working together. So let's say you had uh, your red and black right here, and then you wanted that to be triggered, then you would just flip the switch and then those would be activated. So now if we consider um, that, we can go down here to the other side and let's say this one right here and over here. So it's got nothing at this point. And if we flip that switch to the other side, now we've got, oops, there we go. Now I've got the resistance. Okay, I hope that made sense. Just use your multimeter to find out which pins are working with that based on the resistance. Now, in order to have two inputs and a single output, I need to go onto the output side of this and use jumper wires, both black and red, to go from uh, one side to the other. And then I can have one wire coming out for my output. And then I can have my two inputs separate from this side and so this will trigger back and forth between those. So let me wire this up real quick and I'll show you what that looks like with the multimeter. I just finished getting the two wires here on the output side. So now I can take these two wires and put them in right here. And that would allow, no matter uh, which side the switch is on, the output is always going to be active, but the input is what's going to be different. So let's say I've got uh, an inverter on this side and then a power station on this side. Depending on where my switch is, it will use either the inverter or the power station um, on those two inputs. So that's the basic wiring I need. It's really simple. Um, you just have to make sure you put your wire into either the top or the bottom of this side, and then your single wires for your inputs over here. I've installed two of these rotary changeover switches here in my tiny house. Let me show you what they're doing. They have uh, opposite functions here. The first one up top, I installed in this metal box, and that is going to take two different inputs to one output. So uh, for instance, this inverter right here is pushing power in, and I've got it swapped over to that. 
If I change it over to this orange cord, it can accept power in from a power station. And uh, then it has the single output that goes up around here to this breaker box right here. Now the other one, I'm using the uh, box that it came with. And this has a single input and two outputs. So it's always got solar coming in. And if I click over here, it's sending power to my charge controller, which then charges up this battery. Uh, or I can click it over to setting one and it will uh, put output to a power station and charge it back up. So anyway, I've got those two wired up doing opposite functions, basically saying, this one has two inputs, one output. That one has one input, two outputs. I hope this gives you an idea of what you can do with these rotary changeover switches. You can have two inputs with two outputs, a single input, two outputs, or uh, two inputs and a single output with the uh, different switch positions and having all eight of those pins. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Flandahouse, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.